Hello all, welcome to the Projector 2. This is a video to give you an idea pretty much of how this hub works. Before we do anything, we just need to mess about with our preferences if you haven't already done so. Um, graphics tab and then just make sure these are ticked and the shadows, sun, moon and projectors is present and then you press OK. Now, if you go to your inventory, find your Projector 2 folder Find the HUD, right click and add. The HUD will appear and it will set itself up. Now if you click on the options twice, you'll get buttons that appear and these you can also click on. Now we need to make the avatar active, so what we need to do is you click on the find button and then you scan avatars and you select the avatar that appears that you want to animate and you want to use the the um, lighting on. So we select Mercedes Reeves, you'll get a current age of Mercedes Reeves message appear. Now we need to give her some light, so click the give button and the spotlights give the shadow and the colour B they give off basically just colours. So if we click on the double spot we get another drop venue that says accept, so accept that. Now the person who you're going to be photographing, if they go to their object folder in their inventory, look for the spotlights that you've just given them, right click and add. Now as you can see the cameras have now appeared. Now at the moment they're not doing nothing because they're not switched on. So now if you click on the light range and RGB you open the hub right up where you can use all these controls to mess about with these cameras. Now like I said at the moment they're doing nothing so if we hit the on button one of the cameras is active and you can find out which camera is active by pressing query and as you can see this one is active this one isn't and also you can see a shadow that has appeared behind the avatar which is created from this camera now there's no clicking about on this camera to try and move it around all, it's all done via the HUD, so you just simply click around on the HUD, like so. And you can move that active camera. You can also rotate it, and you can spin it, and up and down as well. So it's all done via the HUD. Um, now you can swap between the cameras by using the light scroll. This one now is saying active and then you turn. You can turn this on or off but we need to turn it on to produce a second shadow which now appears here. So you now have two shadows present producing from both these cameras and again the one that's active you can move it around just by clicking on the HUD, like so. It's just pretty much what your preference is, where you want it to be. But you can move the shadows around. Now, you have intensity, radius and fall off. These are pretty much for you just to click about on and it's whatever your preferences are to how you want the settings to be. But it just changes the light and the shadow as you can see so again it's just down to your preferences what you prefer and this one here just differs the uh, strength of the light so again it's whatever you prefer so as you can see you're getting these shadow effects behind the avatar for your photograph now you can add some color into this by clicking the RGB hub as you can see just by clicking around on it like so and now when you do take your photograph obviously you don't want these in the way so um, we have a hide and show button here the hide button simply hides the cameras and then show we'll just bring them back again so obviously you don't want none of this in your photograph so if you shut down the light range shut down the RGB and the options you have a hide show button here if you click that you've pretty much got most of your screen back for your photo shoot 
to take your picture and when you once you've taken your picture you can pretty much click on that button again and then open everything back up like so now the avatar can be animated you have a pose scroll here by clicking on these arrows you can scroll back and forth through the poses like so um, and again if you want to have more than one avatar present posing you have a next and previous now clicking these two will scroll between each avatar and then whatever one is active which will tell you above the HUD you can change their pose scroll individually so you can pretty much choose any form of single or couple or group posing simply by just playing around with the HUD and its poses and then moving the lights around this avatar or a second avatar and giving it a light effect now <clears throat> as I said you have a second um, set of bulb so you would choose again you just click on the single color bulb like so they would accept they would go to the inventory again you find the single color bulb right click and add and then the bulb will appear and this bulb is purely just for color only so it's now active by using the scroll light scroll and as you can see all it does it just puts light onto the avatar like so by clicking around on the RGB HUD and again you can use these to change the strength of the light like so now you have eyes and face now this was designed for the older style avatar now we have mesh these tend not to work on the mesh heads sometimes the eyes do uh, but the face doesn't um, so at the moment these don't really work on mesh heads it's something that we will look into later but sometimes the eyes will work um, with the avatar posing you can stop them posing the one that's active by clicking the stop button and if you want to start their animations again you just click on the pose and select their poses like so um, you can set the cameras let me just show those cameras again now if you've been moving these around and you want the cameras back to where they started you have a reset button here so by clicking that reset button you get an active light reset or all lights so you choose which one you want to use so we just click all lights you can see them all move back into their position like so um, you can reset the HUD if the rud balks and goes a bit wrong so you'll get a yikes no or you'll just get a total prim reset and the whole HUD will reset itself and then you can start again from scratch so that is pretty much how this HUD works um, like I said you can have one avatar or you can have two three four five means you like this will pose as many avatars as you like and you can singularly change each avatar by with the pose scroll and you'd simply click on next or previous and it will change here the name of the person that's going to be active and for them to change their pose so to shut it all down and uh, that's pretty much the pose jector thank you very much